Hey everybody, MC Prepper here with you. In this video, I wanted to kind of go over what I would consider to be, I don't know if anybody's ever used these terms before, but a, a level one and possibly a level two EDC solar power uh, video. Um, just some different things that I use, uh, that I carry around. Some of them, um, for example, in the black bag that you see in the video, I, I carry a solar, I use that as kind of a, as an EDC solar charging station, solar charging kit between the little solar powered battery backup and what's in the bag. Uh, and then there's two folding solar panels to the right of those uh, that I carry around with me. And then I think if I were going to go out on the weekend, um, just away, just kind of primitive camping, whatever, I would then carry the Plano uh, DIY solar generator kit that I did a previous video on uh, that I would carry that with me as well uh, that actually has a 12 amp battery in it uh, and, and runs perfectly off of the little 20 watt solar panel that I have a video on my channel of as well so I'm gonna reset the camera here real quick and I'm gonna kinda go through some of the different things that I carry um, I'm not gonna do full reviews on each one of the products I really kinda wanted to show this as a this is a kit that I think that people are kind of working towards. Um, I, I, I feel is, when I look at my channel and I see the number of views on some of the videos. Sorry, we live near the airport and there's, of course, a plane flying right over. Um, the way that the, the, those panels are and this the, kind of, the bag that I put together, uh, I feel like I'm kind of prepped or you know prepared for uh, an extended period of time away from normal electricity and keeping some of the uh, electronic gadgets that I have charged so like I said I'll, I'll uh, reset the camera here real quick and I'm gonna go through the bag first I think because that that may be what most people are interested in and uh, I'll be right back all right so I'll uh, start from this, the uh, front here In this, I just keep a variety of cables. Uh, some of these cables will go to a panel that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, I do like to keep just regular Duracell batteries, uh, just in case, uh, just in overcast weather for several days and I'm having trouble keeping some of the rechargeables charged. These are actually some rechargeable batteries that I picked up at Radio Shack. The big reason I like these batteries I don't know if you can read that or not, is 2,500 milliamps. That's a pretty high amount on a rechargeable battery. That, that's going to give you long life. Uh, and uh, some of the device, some of the things you'll see here in a minute, you'll see why I carry so many with me. Uh, I do carry this little cigarette lighter plug in case I'm in my car, or if I have the 12-volt, uh, uh, the uh, solar generator with me. Uh, that's just the cable for my iPad. Uh, I think I threw a lighter in there that actually had been in my pocket, so I'll just drop that for now and uh, put that back in my pocket later. In this side pocket, this houses a 12 volt plug for the solar panel that's in here, and I'll show you that here in a second. Some, some people may actually recognize this, but uh, to what this goes to, as I say, I'll go into the center pocket now, and some of what I do is, is I've got the uh, Goal Zero, the Nomad 7 panel, which a lot of people have seen. Instead of using Velcro, this has got magnets in it, so you don't have any Velcro that's gonna wear out. Uh, this is just a, a 7 watt panel set, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's got uh, these loops here for different configurations as to how you can deploy the panel. You can, uh, you can hold it here, you could use some paracord, hold it here. You could use carabiners if you have a molly backpack and strap this to the back of your backpack. I've actually got my backpack with me, so you can kind of, I'll show you what that kind of looks like. Uh, as I said, this is a 7-watt 
uh, panel set. But the neat thing about these, what I really like about the, the reason I like the Gold Zero, this may be the newest generation one. That, so I, I've, the ones I've seen, they all, this changes quite a bit, this little power brick. Um, I also have the Guide 10 Plus uh, packs. Um, this, and actually you can see it and uh, see what that one, what this is, is when you have AAA batteries, this is an adapter piece so that you can do AA or AAA uh, batteries in this. The neat thing about this is the cable for the Guide 10 is actually built in. So you can see here, turn out that you can see it. See these. So you have USB, you've got 12 volt, this is where your Guide 10 is, and then you can daisy chain these panels. So if you've got a buddy or a friend or a significant other that is also carrying one of these panel sets, you can daisy chain these panels together to double your wattage. So if you have two of these, you'd end up with 14 watts, and that, that's a substantial increase in uh, over a single panel. With uh, the way that the Guide 10 is made is it actually has an input for you can see it says solar on there so basically from this this just plugs in and then when you open that up this light will turn and you'll start to see it charge uh, it also does charge off of usb as well so if you have a computer uh, in your car if you needed to charge it uh, faster you could use uh, this input as well uh, the Guy 10 does have a flashlight, so if you flip this to that, you can possibly see the little flashlight light up. So I have two of these. I have one with triple A's, and I have one with the uh, Goal Zero set of uh, double A's. So they're both identical. I, uh, but it was kind of nice because I have flashlights that have triple A's, and I have some flashlights that have double A's. So in the field, uh, trying to get home, this is kind of why I keep this near my get home bag. Um, if I'm, if it takes me a couple of days to get home, uh, I've got plenty of ways to power my batteries back up. I do carry extra alkaline batteries just to make up the difference if I'm having trouble keeping my batteries charged. I can also keep my uh, phone cord so I can plug into the USB to keep my phone fully charged. Um, then, I'll open that pocket back up and show you what I love about this Goal Zero set is the fact that it has uh, a 12 volt socket. So I could actually, if my battery were dead, I could throw this up in the up uh, up in the front on the uh, dash of the car and run a set of leads from this that I'll probably will will make up myself. One thing you could do is charge your battery. You can also charge, uh, if you had a GPS that had the cigarette lighter plug to it, you can plug things like that in. If your phone has a weird connector and doesn't have the micro USB or the mini USB um, and, it, and you just have your phone charger, you actually have a way to charge it using the charger that you would normally use and it just connects together. So I think that these are this product is real well thought out and uh, and the the uh, different options that they offer. Now, one thing I also have is uh, this is another uh, battery charger that I had bought from uh, Radio Shack as well as you can see. But the neat thing about it is this is a 30 minute charger, so I can charge double uh, A's or triple A's on this. Uh, the neat thing is is this runs on 12 volts, so you can see I actually have a cigarette lighter plug that will plug in here and plugs in here if I've got enough sunlight I can actually charge these those batteries from dead in 30 minutes so that could I could really I could stop eat lunch get a, all four batteries charged back up in a 30 minute time period if it were a sunny day like today and then there's just a couple other odds and ends in here I keep a uh, just the regular uh, my, I have a Samsung phone so I keep one of those chargers in there as well I kind of thought this as a, a way to more or less cover every electronic item that I have I actually have some flashlights that use the uh, CR123 batteries 
Another nice thing is, is this one uses, uh, uh, I have a cigarette lighter cord uh, that I bought this off eBay. Um, and it came with a cigarette lighter cord so I can still use the 12 volt here as well. And I could charge uh, CR123 batteries in this. So that, that would keep my um, Surefire flashlight going. So it, it, all this stuff kind of fits in here kind of nicely. You know, it's this bag has got it's something I actually picked up at Walmart. It's not a name brand of anything, but for this application, it kind of worked out real well. Uh, I wouldn't specifically call this Molly, but it's got some uh, loops here that you can uh, hook things onto. I usually have a couple of carabiners for that uh, Goal Zero pack, uh, but that kind of makes up just an EDC solar kit that I carry with me and I can just leave that in my car and if I had to I could grab my uh, I actually have a shoulder strap for it as well it does have places for shoulder straps that if I had to leave my car for any reason I could grab my get home bag and grab this this weighs next to nothing that uh, I could fully charge all my components and then the uh, the thing I the, the goal zero is uh, a seven watt but then there are times where having bigger panels that are higher wattage on either real sunny days or cloudier days gives you the advantage of being able to collect more of the available light. So what I mean by that is I've got a couple of these larger, well actually the size is not that much larger than the, than the Gold Zero. This is just another... Uh, one that I purchased off of Amazon and I'll have a link to that as well it, This one's got a pocket on it And it has a single USB plug so it's going to give you five volts. Um, it is a two a two amp uh, uh, Connection because this one Is a 12 out a 12 watt panel set so you've got three four watt panels on here and then what's nice is, is the pocket on the back side, it allows you to put your phone into it so that your phone's not sitting directly into the sun in overheating. Uh, this one, just like the, the Goal Zero, has got some holes where you can <clears throat> strap this onto something, strap it around a tree, put it hanging off of your tent, you know, do whatever you need to do. So that's, and it's kind of nice because this folds up you know about the size of an iPad or something <coughs> it actually fits in this in the uh, in that bag as well and then this is a new panel that I just got uh, and I'll have a link to this one as well this is probably the best deal of all of them this is the revive solar restore ra4 uh, same thing you know it's got a pocket this one has Two USB plugs in it though um, and the nice thing about this panel is this is a four oops just hit the camera this is a 14 watt set this one actually has see if I can get that in the camera this is a four panel set this is a 14 watt panel when you the first device you plug in if it's a tablet for example it'll get two amps of electricity and then the second item that you plug in will get one amp so you don't the the panel is not powerful enough to run two devices at two amps but sometimes that's okay because your phone may not need the two amps you may just need to top your phone off so one amp would be fine this pocket's kind of neat because you can put your devices in but it's got holes also that if you need to run a cable out further there's uh places for the these to hang out so as i said this is really not supposed to be a review on these products it's more just kind of what i carry at different times with me uh so that i can keep right, so charged. i hope that you like my little uh, edc solar kit here uh, as i say it, it can vary uh, a lot of people's edc does carry the edc doesn't normally dictate this is the exact things that I carry day to day, it kind of does if fluctuate like video, a little please bit. Please give me a thumbs up. As always, please keep subscribing. Uh, my subscribers are, are wonderful. I love the comments that come in. 
Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, I will back, be back with a video as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.